The past few years have seen an unprecedented increase in infrastructure projects from railways, highways, bridges, and interchanges. These projects pose a variety of challenges for engineers and urban planners. However, because these projects often build on or expand existing structures, the power infrastructure designed to energize them and the area surrounding them invariably require a redesign. This adds a layer of complexity and a unique set of challenges that require the experience and expertise of the engineers at Meralco. To better understand the process of pole relocation, consider the real-life proposed Project Interchange. Project Interchange is a proposed four-lane divided flyover that is being built to ease traffic congestion in roads, servicing high-density residential, commercial, and industrial areas. It is projected to save motorists about 22.5 million hours a year and reduce total vehicle operating costs by more than 7 billion pesos. However, the project builders identified overhead electrical line crossings that need to be cleared for project construction to begin. The builders draft a formal request for pole relocation to Meralco. This request should include an official letter with a CAD file of the project's final alignment that marks the relative positions of road right-of-way limits and, if available, the detailed engineering design of the project. The builders then submit this request to Meralco. Meralco assembles a team for project interchange. A project manager is assigned to coordinate and monitor the entire relocation process. Meralco sets up a meeting with the project builders and all stakeholders involved. Together, they discuss the project's plans, scope, and timelines. The builders fulfill all the requirements on the checklist, including the Detailed Engineering Design, or DED, of the project. Once the builders have submitted all the requirements, Meralco engineers start designing the relocation plan. Meralco identifies the specific power structures that will be affected. These include structures that are in the path of project interchange, as well as those that may pose a hazard once the project is finished. They devise a detailed design scheme that defines how and when the power lines will be relocated, pinpoints all the obstructions and possible rights-of-way issues that may be encountered and details the manpower and resources required to execute the project. All these are based specifically on the builder's submitted DED, so any changes to the DED will result in changes in Meralco's design. Upon completion of the relocation plan and strategy, Meralco submits these together with a project cost to the project builders for approval. Once the plan and cost are approved by the project builders, Meralco starts getting necessary permits and rights of way. When all of these are secured, Meralco requires the project builder's payment for relocation charges. Once the relocation charges are settled, Meralco executes its relocation plan based on a timeline agreed upon by both Meralco and the project builder. Throughout the entire relocation process, Meralco continuously coordinates with the project builders and other stakeholders, making sure that all parties involved are constantly apprised of all developments in the project. The first step in the implementation of relocation design is to carefully plan mobilization of manpower and resources necessary for relocation so as not to disrupt Meralco's daily operations. For project interchange, this involves 70 members of the relocation team and 14 trucks working over a six-week period. Once all resources and plans are in place, Meralco excavates the holes and builds the foundations necessary for the relocation. For project interchange, this involves installing 28 new distribution poles 
the retiring of seven old ones and utilizing almost four kilometers of wire. Meralco then installs these new poles together with the line hardware like cross arms and insulators. Let's not forget the cable and communication lines and equipment attached to the old poles. These are all relocated in coordination with telecom and cable companies. Once the new poles are fitted with new electric conductors and cables, they are ready to be energized. Energizing the new lines requires a power interruption in the old power lines. That is why three days before energizing the new poles, Meralco alerts customers in the affected areas of the prearranged power interruption. The power interruption allows the new power lines to be connected and the old power lines to be safely cut and removed. Upon energization, power is restored to the affected areas and the old poles can now be removed. Contrary to popular belief, poles are not actually relocated. Once they are removed from their former locations, they are retired. The pole relocation is now complete and the project builder can now proceed with finishing the interchange. The pole relocation for project interchange was completed in six weeks and represents a best-case scenario. It is an idealized version of the process that included the initiation of request, the coordination and submission of requirements, the design and securing of right-of-way and permits, the design approval, the settlement of relocation charges, and lastly, the construction phase. But what happens during less ideal circumstances? Delays may be caused by problems in securing permits and rights of way. Unfortunately, failure to secure these means Meralco cannot proceed with relocation. If the DED submission is delayed or if it is revised after submission to Meralco, timelines may have to be adjusted. Meralco creates designs based on the DED, so any drastic changes in the DED will mean Meralco's design team goes back to square one. Another cause of delay may simply be the lack of space where the pole can be safely relocated. The high volume of pole relocation requests that Meralco receives also brings challenges to implementation timeline. In this situation, Meralco has to efficiently balance its resources and prioritize its activities. The goal is for Meralco to address pole relocation requests without neglecting its most basic function of distributing adequate and reliable power to its customers. Improving and expanding infrastructures are testaments to the country's progress. But the difficulties in building these structures and the complexity of the pole relocation process pose a challenge. The good news is, these challenges are not insurmountable. With smart engineering, careful planning, constant coordination, and close cooperation, Meralco, project builders, and other stakeholders can be effective partners in building the roads to progress.